we're proud to be here at Nickerson Gardens today where we're presenting a check for $860,000, which will supplement other funding to help green Nickerson Garden and the Watch community. And Nickerson Gardens is the largest housing development with the Housing Authority west of the Mississippi. So it's very important to us to bring more resources here to the development. So we work hard on bringing a healthier community here in Nickerson. So the fact that we have this funding that's going to address the gopher holes and the issues here on the field is very important because now the kids will have somewhere to play, a healthier place to play. The refurbishment of this field is going to help us to do more recreational programming, particularly baseball, football, the walk paths are going to allow us to maybe facilitate track and just really get the, the kids and the families out to play and, and to exercise and just have fun. I just think it's really important that we're investing in greening this, our urban communities because if you take a look around to other places and other cities, they have a lot more green space than our residents here in Watts do. And that's not right. And so this is one step in transforming that and making sure we're investing in our communities and they also have access to the green space so our kids have a place to go um, to be athletic and to be able to enjoy sports in the outdoors. It's, it's one of the days that we've been waiting on for a long time when you talk about getting things done inside the community when it comes to our young people, our kids. It just helps our kids, our seniors to see something different in the community. That's one of the fights that we continue to do here in all of Watts to bring programs and greenery and uh, sports back to the community. Normally when we bust the kids to go out, they see all these things in Beverly Hills, uh, Baldwin Hills, but it's time now to have it right here in Watts. So community involvement has been tremendously important um, because we had hundreds of applications on trying to decide where and who we were going to pick for community projects. The community here spoke out and they spoke up and said, this is our vision, this is what we want for our community. And that really helped us in deciding to pick this project as one of the 10 out of hundreds that got funded. And so I want to thank the community for their voice and their engagement and their involvement. Let's make sure they're keeping that up so that this community and, and this facility gets every penny that they deserve.